So I'm watching the news, I'm watching the markets get absolutely destroyed. And if you look at some of the news that, you know, you see on Google News, talking about, you know, Dow Jones futures, shares continue to slump as fears about the economy and earnings, Robinhood shares plummet as the company announces playoffs, <laughs> playoffs, <laughs> layoffs. Uh, so people are now obsessed, obsessed with the macro. The macro is three inches in front of the face. We're going to have a recession. We're going to have a housing crash. Um, interest rates are going to go, go up. Stocks are selling off. Nobody wants to um, own anything, you know, and, um, and, um, a couple days ago, I, you know, made a deposit into my brokerage account and, and I, and I'm buying something, right? I'm buying something and, and no, no, it's not Oracle. It's not Voxter. It's not Globex only because I have enough shares of those companies. But, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm buying this particular company and not in one second, not in one second, did I consider uh, what the interest rates are going to do, uh, whether we're going to have a recession, whether there's going to be a stock market sell-off. It didn't, it didn't even occur to me in one second. All that matters to me is I like the company. The company is growing. The company is cheap. The business is wonderful. I want it so bad. I want the shares so bad that I am buying it even though it is at a 52 week high. It is at all time high, actually. I, I don't know if it's an all time high, but it's it's at, at the highest level in many, many years. OK, like I'm willing to pay up. Because I want this company so bad. I've been waiting for like four years to, to get shares. And now I'm like literally paying double what I could have paid. I don't know, months ago, double. And not in one second, am I concerned about inflation, what the Fed is going to do, uh, what, what, uh, what the market is going to do, what the housing is going to do, not, not even in one second. And, you know, I'm thinking also, if you are worried about what the macro is going to do and you're worried about what your stocks are going to do, you're in the wrong stocks. If the macro has so much impact on your stocks, you're in the wrong stocks. And, um, and you know, anytime I make a purchase, I don't care. If I didn't have, if I didn't have enough Voxter, I would be buying it just every day. Doesn't matter what, what, what anybody says, doesn't matter how negative the news is. If I didn't have enough Oracle, I'll be buying it. And think about things like copper, for example. It, it, it literally was like, I don't know, weeks, a few weeks ago. Remember how copper, copper hit five bucks, right? Copper hit, hit five bucks. All the articles were talking about copper shortages. We don't have enough copper, electric cars. My God, two weeks in front of their face. Oh yeah, now, now it's like China is on lockdown. Um, I guess we don't need copper anymore, right? Like seriously, this world is so fucking fucked up and ridiculous. Like, like uh, literally not like everything has to be in front three inches in front of the face, like literally every two weeks is something different. Okay. It is just amazing. Like the, the attention is just like so short right now. So I'm buying this stock and it's like, I'm thinking like, where's this company going to be, you know, in five, seven years, like how much am I going to make on it in so many years? I'm thinking about how can I get my hands on, on as many shares as humanly possible. And it's like, why isn't everybody thinking like this? I don't get it. It's like, 
macro is here it's negativity recession it's like you know what it's ridiculous i'm freaking done because th this whole world is just so stupid and ridiculous no wonder so few people make money in the stock market like no wonder the stupidity has no boundaries